Yeah, I'm smoking. <laughs> Howdy, doody. Oh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I'm so in a dancing mood today. Yes, I'm dressed. The light's a bit cool in here because I've got my light on charge, yo. It's so crappy in there. Sorry, guys, it's never all good. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's not great lighting in there because I'm in my boudoir and it's a bit of a dull day. But this light, hold up, one minute, I don't have to smoke, do tarot or whatever. Oh, hang on, guys, one minute. Right, hello and welcome to the channel. I sound really posh then, don't I? Oh, hello. I'm going to see. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? This is like more type of the nighttime light. I can't put it up high because. My charge is too small. Oh, for goodness sake. Nothing's organised here, is it? Ever! Let me do that. Is that better? Well, you're not going to tell me, are you? I'm not going to hear you. <laughs> It'll have to do, mate. Right, so I don't know what I'm going to do. If you ain't been here before, I'm Kerry. And welcome to my channel. Do you know what? I might do them nice cards that I got. So I've got so many cards, I, I don't know what to use because I've got so many now. Shall we do... I do like them Cosmic Insights, though, because I've got these ones I did for you yesterday. I'm going to end on these because they're really lovely, Secret Garden, and they're just um, enchanting messages for quiet little spaces. So I will do them last. we put them there. I know you don't really want a love reading. So let's do the time walk again. Oh, I love that. I had it on my mind yesterday. Romance and love. I might do you my beautiful cards that my little friend sent in for me. My gifts. I'm so grateful. I am. These are very beautiful, these cards. Are they? Oh, let's see what's going on. They're very pink. And a purple. So whatever you're doing today, guys, have a good day. It's very real here if you ain't been here before. But I got a message from a tarot reader. Oh, I felt like I've been messaged by a celebrity. Well, she is. You know, I told you about Vida, Dig Deep Tarot. Go and check her out. She's amazing. And if you like, she's not a tarot reader. She's more than that. And when I say tarot reader, like, she reads tarot, but she don't just read tarot. She does current affairs, politics, blimmin' murders, whatever. And I really love her. And uh, she just messaged me and said, thank you for sharing my channel. And I said to her, I feel like I've been messaged from a celebrity. I said, but you are. I watch her every day. I do. There's a few I watch, like Empress, Jen, Free Free Free. Kareem, if you want your horoscopes, go to him. Intuit and Kev, laugh a minute. And then, um, yeah, Vida. Dig deep tarot. I can't believe she messaged me. Apparently, Charlie B told her. I'm not sure, but she said Charlie B um, told her. So, thanks, Charlie B. I really appreciate that. But, yeah, she's my celebrity. She's my celebrity. So, yeah, check her out. She's bloody brilliant, and she is. And you won't get no lies from her. And a lot of her stuff turns up later uh, in the news and things like that. So, you know. Um, yeah, and she's got a lovely cat that comes on sometimes and that. I just love her. She's so normal. But, yeah, so, anyway, thank you, Vida, for messaging me. I feel very honoured today because when I first um, saw her, I only had, like, probably 60 to 200, like, um, subscribers. I was pretty, pretty um, low. And I used to watch it. She used to drag me out of some right dark times. And it's just different. Her channel's very different. And she's got so many cards that she makes. But, um, yeah, she's really good. So... I'm just going to put them as a way. I have to shuffle them before I put them away. So we will do these ones, okay? So angels and ancestors, come into my space and help me with the reading and guide me. And we will say, oh, doorway. So an opportunity is about to present itself that leads you to a new person. This is divine timing. Right, so if you don't want to meet someone new, don't worry. It means you're a new person, okay? So just put it where it fits. Don't scream at me. This is divine timing. So just trust in the universe because this is their timing. Love arrives when it is a men too, okay? They're beautiful cards, these are. But the doorway is open. If you don't want new love, just don't have it. Just say adios amigo, get it. But yeah, so it could be doorway to you. Just put it where it fits. All that um, readings are just basically should resonate with what you already know. So angels and ancestors. Oh, hideaway. So make 
Right, so you might want to, yeah, you might want to create your own little hideaway. You might feel like you're hiding away at the moment. And you're quite happy in that little, um, it's not even little, it's a big, um, it feels very big where you are, like grand, shall I say. I think you're in a very grand place, not just living, maybe in your head, like as a person. If you've evolved, you're very um, royalty, I feel. That's what I'm feeling. And um, you might even live near rocks and that, but you might even like to go in caves, I'm getting, because I can see a cave outside. But you've got pillars, so I feel like you're in a little hideaway, but your hideaway is keeping you protected, but you're not locked in there. I'm getting, like, hermit mode on this, so, like, you're not trapped, but you're choosing to hide away and collect all your abundance, you might be in your little hideaway with a person if you, you've got someone. If not, you're just creating your own little spe special, spe special, special. <laughs> sounded a bit special then. Yeah, so I feel like you are in a little hideaway. Or you're just hiding away because you don't want to be in the outside world um, very much at the moment. See there, look. I know it's shit like But look, the cave. And then you've got all the rocks there. Maybe you blooming... Um, I had to walk over that blimmin' mountain to get where you are to your little hideaway. But I feel like you've got a lot of abundance, just literally might be a little bit out of reach, but it's growing and it'll soon be coming down. But yeah, it's lovely. I think you're just creating your own little space, I would say. Yeah, and why not? We all have to be in a little hideaway sometimes. It's not you're hiding, you're just growing and you just don't want to deal with things around you, I feel. So let's see. So, yeah, I feel like you're just making time for yourself. And you are building, like, um, your own little life. I feel you feel very secure. I do. I feel you like it where, like, where you are. You do feel secure and you feel abundant. Definitely. So we're all creating our own little... Oh, you might have a new twin flame coming in. Yeah. Time for love. So you might have found new love, some of you watching me, or you might have new love coming in. Now, this could be love of a friend. It doesn't have to be a partner. So you've definitely got someone coming in who's passionate. Someone's keeping the flame of passion alive. Maybe you've kept the flame of passion alive. It's the heartbeat of love. I feel like you're full of love. But, yeah, you could be having someone coming in. But don't worry, because it might just be like, a passion that you like. It doesn't have to be a person, okay? It could be like a new passion that you're coming in, something you really enjoy doing, something that makes your heart, like, beat fast, so you enjoy doing it. You might be creating something very passionate in your little hideaway. You might be hiding what's passionate to you. You might even have a secret little lover that you're not showing for anyone because you don't want anyone to ruin it. Take it where it fits because this is a collective read, okay? There's a lot of people I'm reading for, but I'm feeling more that you've got something that you're passionate about. You're creating it in your little hideaway and you're doing it, like, in your own time, and you're just doing it for yourself. That's what I feel like. I really do. I get an itchy head. My like angels guide me. But like I said, there's a lot of you watching, so it can be a person. And then it it may be it's not. Right. <laughs> oh, card just fell out. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Oh no. <sighs> Didn't want this energy to come in, but I can't help it if the angels put this in it. Toxicity. Right, toxic relationship can drain your energy and self-worth. Beware. Now, you could have been in a toxic relationship. I don't want to bring the karmics into this read today, but if they come in, they come in. But I'm going to try and do it differently as the angels guide me. I always do it both ways, okay? So you could be in a hideaway and sort of be on your own doing something you feel passionate about because you might have lost passion for somebody else, all right, who is very toxic. And it might have made you feel a little bit trapped. And I think this person did drain your energy. They might have drained your energy that much that you didn't even want to start this project, I'm feeling. But you've had to go away in this hideaway because there is where you found your self-worth. And I think you're very aware of yourself now, all right? But you still have to be aware of someone who's toxic around you that might want to trap you. They might want to come in your little hideaway, if you know what I mean. So be careful. We'll see how we go with this. But I was feeling a bit of bad energy coming up, but I didn't want to say I should have done, really, because I can't fight the angels, what they tell me. Oh, get away, toxic energy. Woo! <laughs> Seriously. It's the only time I ring my bell when I got it. I got that song. You can ring my bell. Ring 
my bell, my bell. Ding a ling a ling. Uh, you can ring my bell. I used to think ding a ling was rude when I was younger. I remember my granddad saying, I was like, oh, you said ding a ling. <laughs> Because my dad used to sing, won't you play with my ding -a -ling? Not in that way. My dad was not like that. Don't get it twisted. But yeah, we'd be like, oh, dad, you sang ding -a -ling. <laughs> There was a song like that that was out, won't you play my ding -a -ling? Oh, my day. So demonic, isn't it, back in the day? I think the 70s were the worst. Like, when I look back now on things, it was so racist, and like they got away with it, and it was so sexual as well. So, oh, especially Jim will fix it, mate. He was the right one. I even wrote into him. Could you imagine? I wrote in so my mum could meet Phil Collins. I would have been molested. <laughs> right. Oh no. Right. I rang the bell, guys. Oh dear. Right. So someone wants to give you an apology. Oh, this is only an energy. All right. So don't worry if you think, I don't want anyone coming back. All right. Neither do I. This is only what they're thinking or feeling. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. I mean, how long you've been watching Tarot? No one's come back. Well, they might have done. But someone wants to give you uh, an apology. Someone might want to give you their, like, give you your flowers to say, I'm really sorry for what I've done. Shouldn't have underestimated the power of what you can do. But are you bothered? But somebody might want to give you, like, an apology for being toxic. Oh, dear. So someone's still feeling feelings for you. But someone might give you a lot of big love, you know? It's all a bit... I don't know. You know, like when someone gives you flowers and you know they've done something? My ex, every time he give me flowers, his daughter told me... Dad's had an affair on you, or he's cheating. If Dad buys you flowers, he's always cheated on you. Oh, thanks for that. I'm glad she told me, though. It was a, a, his daughter that outed him to me. Seriously. But, um, so someone wants to apologise because they know they're toxic and they are feeling passionate towards you, and I didn't want to go here. But if it comes up, it comes up. We are in this energy. Sorry about the light. It's because I keep going forward like that, and the light changes. Oh, dear. So, sorry, guys. Maybe you want to hear it. Maybe you don't. So... Someone wants to give you a heartfelt apology, but they might want to give you your flowers as in, like, what you deserve. You might want an apology so you can, let me put it like that, so you can move on. But this person knows they've been toxic. Now, this person might feel, I'm getting led to say, that you might be a bit prickly. You, They don't know what sort of response they're going to get off of you. You might be like, bye bye, touch me, mate. You're like, yeah, seriously, but um, someone might want to just come into your um, hideaway and see what you're going on because they don't know what you're creating. So we'll see, but never underestimate the power of heartfelt apology. It might help you move on. Who knows? Oh, dear, I'm going to get a different card on this. So I want to have a bit of confirmation. I want to... Um, I want to see who this is, guys. I think we know who this is, but we'll see what this is about. Because I'm feeling a bit toxic coming on. So, I'm going to use ya. Oh, no. Someone's spying on you. So, someone's got their eye on you. Uh, uh, I think you know this already. I think you know this. Someone's spying on you. So, someone is spying on you. Caution. I'm going really cold. Right, angels, guide me, my loves. Oh, we really need this. Could be a fire sign who's spying on you. Or you could be the fire sign, okay? <gasps> Caution again. Someone could be ill. Right. Someone could be ill. They could have something with their heart. I got this yesterday. But they might have overworked themselves to be toxic towards you, I'm feeling, as well. Oh, dear. So we've got someone who's feeling a bit of that. Because you're hiding away, that's why they're attracted to you. And it is. But they might not have seen you for a long time. So they want to give an apology. But like I said, you might want it. This might be quite challenging for you, I think. Or it could be challenging for them. Let's see. Right. Angels and ancestors guide. Whoa, mate. Oh, no, babe. I knew it. It's a narcissist. Right, someone is really full of themselves. I'm getting sick of this energy. Oh, when is it going to end? A couple of days, I was told. A couple of days. 
Oh, it's because they're getting their karma, guys. Oh, sorry, but I've got to have a cigarette. I'm feeling stressed. I'm so sorry. Oh, guys, I know you don't want this person back. Why are you here watching this thing? Go and watch something else. No, you know you'll never know, as we all do. Oh, sugar tits. Oh, we've got narcissists. Should we do the karmic slap? Come on, let's do it. Do the karmic slap, slap. Slap him. Slap him! Oh, God, when are you going to get out of our energy? Might wear a hat, this little narcissist. Because this person in the background looks like they've got some kind of hat on their head. Oh, so someone really full of themselves. I think someone really thinks if they come in, what did I say to you a minute ago? When I saw this big lot of flowers, I thought, yeah, I bet they're coming in. Oh, giving you big love. You know, you get somebody who just overly tries to love you, but you know, they're some crap. I was feeling that. So this person thinks, oh, I go in and give them big love, let love bomb ya, love bomb ya. I'll give them a heartfelt apology. And then this person, the collective will get all impassionate with me, probably want to sleep with ya. Even though I've been toxic and draining and told this person that I would take all their self-worth and made them be aware of themselves. Oh, don't matter that this narcissist made you hide away and go inside, but oh, really, they made you bloom and grow and get loads of abundance. They're after your abundance, mate. Seriously. Oh, this person, yeah, wants to make time to be with you because you've created your own little hideaway. That's why. Yeah. Tell them to go back in the cave that they blimming came from, really. Get back under the stone you just crawled out of. Oh, no. So this person's toxic. They are a narcissist. They want to give you an apology, but it will not be real, OK? You know what narcissists are like, guys. I tried to start this energy, but I can't. If they, if they put... Oh, no. What's that? Water sign. Right, so it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I just spat everywhere, but don't worry, because I've got no teeth. <laughs> Seriously. Right, so it could be you who's a water sign. Someone might want to put their hands out. Mm. Yeah, take all your stuff. Right, so be patient because you've only got a few more months until everything gets really good for you, all right? So there are things coming for you if you just wait. This might be a test, yeah, to tell this person to do one. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So you might be feeling, oh, I've been waiting for ages. And um, mm, this person's going to waste your time. They're going to waste your time. It's over. It is. It's over. You're moving on and you are. They still think that blimmin' door is open a little bit. Maybe you need to do a cord cutting or something. Oh, blimey. So it could be someone who's been from a distance from you for a while. You might not have even spoke to this person. I reckon that you are not even like, slept with this person. You haven't seen this person. You haven't spoke to this person. Right, that's, they've been with old dogs. <laughs> Seriously, confirmation. Oh, no. Oh, I've got to have a fag, babe. Seriously, I should have put some music on, shouldn't I? Right, remember, this is only an energy, okay, guys? Blimey. Do you know what? As a reader, look, it's probably their, it's probably their, their birds chatting away. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Oh, Go and get a fag. This is going to be a long one. I'm telling you, no, it's not. 1833. Oh, dear. This feels like it's been going on since 1833, doesn't it? Shall I put the kettle on and make us a cup of coffee? Shall I? Come round. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Let me have a cut of the pass. It was that wet. I nearly stuck the whole cigarette in. Come on, mate. Accident emergency. Oh, angels. Right, so we know. Let's get back to these. Right, angels. Oh, let's get back to these ones, all right? Oh, I'm scared. So we've got a narcissist on the way. But like I said, it might be what they're thinking. They're just getting passionate thoughts. This person probably feels like it's been a long time. They might be scared to come in, but this person's very toxic. Well, they're a narcissist. You know what they're like. They don't like losing. They don't like the word no, these people. So I Whoa. Right, so, hang on, this came upside down. This person might not be together with someone that they was with, or they might tell you they're not, all right? This person's going to make up they want to be with you, but this person, I feel it's to do with something else, because it's a together card, right, but it came out reversed. So either they want to get together with you, 
but they're lying, okay? They just want your abundance or they're not together with someone now. So we will see, all right? So are they still with someone else? Because this is not a trusting person, guys. You're not narcissists. Like, they lie. They don't like the word no. They don't like you getting away with everything. They see everything as a game. They like to control everything. By like angels, an air sign. So this is an air sign, okay? So it could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Right. Take it where it fits, you might be an air sign, but I did ask who it was, okay? So we asked about, they might not be, thank you, angels, they might have been with an air sign. If this is a water sign, they could have been with an air sign, or if they're an air sign, they could have been with a water sign. So this came out on, yeah, they're not with this person, it says divorce. They want to leave this person, or they're experiencing a breakup with somebody, all right? So the person that they was with, they're not with anymore, or they might tell you they're not with this person. I think this is going a bit tits up, okay? So this could be an air sign. I'm going cold. So it could be an air sign who they're with or who they are, okay? And this person's going through a divorce. So they are, it doesn't matter if they're not married, they're probably just with someone. So I thought I had something outside then. So they're experiencing a breakup. That's why this person's spying on you. Right, this person could have an ex that's spying on you. This person wants to take you out for a date. Or they want to um, wine and dine you, okay? So someone's doing their research on you and they are. Oh, be careful where you're going in that, guys, all right? So they are experiencing breakup. So they could have messaged. So I feel like this person is that shallow. They probably messaged someone to say it's over. They might be getting a breakup because someone might have seen messages on their phone. Or they might be messaging other people, so this person is spying. They could have been caught spying on you. So, all right. So someone is not with somebody. They're not. Oh, dear. Right, so let's have another little look. I do like these cards, so don't worry. Don't have to, you don't have to acknowledge these people, and you don't. I'm going to put these up here so you can see. Right, angels and ancestors, guide me to what else is going on. Right, so... Someone knows you've got a new adventure coming in. Someone's scared that you've got new love coming in. They do. This person knows that you're abundant. They could be looking at you through a window. This, yeah, birds. I feel this person knows you're free. Oh, so this person went off with someone, I think. I think this person looked out of their window, like as if they got a roaming eye. I'm getting uh, led to say so this person i think this person was attracted to somebody else and they like to have new adventures i'm feeling like this person likes the newness of passion like they like the newness of getting together with someone yeah and then it don't last long right so this person i feel like this person does this like they go back and forth either with you or with other people in like other relationships getting together with people they got a bit of a roaming eye i feel if they look out the window and see something else, it's better. Or they see someone else's dinner, they want that. Like, they always want the next thing. Or, the, like, yeah, I've just got, like, if, like they didn't water their own garden, but they'll jump the hedge and go to another garden. <sighs> right, so, this person knows you've got love coming in. I think that's what they're getting scared of. And they know that you are abundant. Now, this person could be looking, like I said, out of a window and spying on you as well air sign so this person is attracted to you but the thing is you are attracting another person at the right time in your life you're going to attract someone else this person knows they got probably got a feeling that you are moving on or they might have know they might know sorry that you have moved on okay but with this person, I feel this person's attracted to you because they know you're a star. They know you're a celebrity. They know, like, you're very optimistic. You're very powerful. They're feeling very, um, like, a magnet towards you because you are light and you are, like, very abundant. And you are, like I said, a star. You might be a bit of a celebrity. You might be a star. You might just be a star seed. You might be being noticed. You're shining bright. You could be very popular in your community or what you do for other people. But you are shining bright like a star, okay? 
So your hope and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now. So that's why this person's feeling drawn to you and they are attracted to you because now you're abundant and you're looking beautiful or handsome. They want to pop up. This person knows you're a healer or you're healing. Now this person, I feel they know you have gifts. This person, I feel, wants your gifts. They know you are a gift. They might even want to give you a gift. We've got flowers again. So this person could come with a gift or send you a gift, bring you a gift when they try and apologise. Or, like I said, know that you are a gift. You've closed it down with this person. You're not connected with this person. This person's not meant to be. They need to accept closure, this person does. I don't think this person closes off anything they just leave everything like with the door left open a little bit they probably don't realize that you shut the door on this person you're on the right path now and you are you're going on your journey and you're going and you're walking it alone i can see let me see what else i can get this so i feel someone might feel like you need closure but you don't need closure you don't you got your own gift you are the gift this person like i said might give you a gift because you are a star and you are. There is attraction there, but I feel this person's attracted to quite a lot of people. This person knows that you're hiding away and they don't know what you're doing. They don't know what path you're taking. That's why they want to come and spy on you and see and try and get together with you. But it is a narcissist, okay? And this person could be an S and they've split up with somebody. They have. You need to be very careful with this person, guys, and I'm telling you, you do. Because they really reckon themselves. They do. Right, let's see what else we've got, guys. What are we on? 26, 40. So, angels, let's see what else. Oh, God, this is what we needed, isn't it? Oh, these people. Oh, that's too many. Blimey, they flew out. I'm not taking them. What one's that that flew out? Yeah, this person might try and base this on a friendship. But this person's very cold. Very cold. It may never develop into a romance, yeah, because you don't want it to. It's not going to develop into a romance. This person is holding a hand, right? But the hand looks like a mannequin. So this person could have been very cold to you, not gave you a lot of love. Probably made you like feel just like you, well, you probably weren't even a friend. It might have been a friend that did this to you. But look at your hand and look at their hand. Look, doesn't look real, does it? That's a cold-hearted person. Look, there you go. That don't look real, does it? Look. <sighs> Maybe you should be careful touching people and shaking people's hands. You might give people a lot of power of your hands. You might be a healer, I'm feeling. So this person might start off wanting to be friends with you. But you're enjoying the simple things in life. And you are. You're enjoying your abundance. You're enjoying your own company. You're enjoying your surroundings. I don't feel like you want to get together with anyone. And I don't. Not this person. But this person's just split up with someone, don't forget that, all right? I don't like that cold hand on there. I think this person might have just not offered you much. Very cold-hearted person. Right, let's see and do... Mm, let's see what comes out of these ones. Yeah, date night. I wouldn't be very safe going out with this person. They're that cold. Yeah, this person's very sexual. Right, so someone's trying to still figure themselves out. So this person might be into both SEXs because it came out like that. So they might know, might not know if they go that way or that way. They might go both ways. Or this could be you. This could be a same-sex relationship. Don't worry if it's not. They might be entangled in a lot of SEXuality, if you know what I mean. So someone still might be sleeping around. And that's why they want to sleep because they're tangled in a lot of... Um, casserole diseases i wanted to say so this person could still be in a commitment you know they could like be splitting up this person but still in a commitment like i said just told them in a message or they want to split up this person but they're not sure so they might want to come and see if the landlord is all right with you before yeah they're a liar so i was feeling that so this person probably won't if they approach you, they won't split off their relationship they've got until they know you want to be with them. So they always want to keep someone hanging on. They've always got a backup plan, this person. That's how cold they are, and I'm feeling really uncomfortable. So this person's a liar. Be careful. 
someone's being very sneaky. I thought so. I could feel it. And I've gone really cold, guys. Someone's a bit of a Pinocchio. So someone... Yeah, I'm getting energy. So someone's going to say to you that they're not with someone. And they clearly are. Or they're messing around with other people. And they might lie to you about this. You probably know this already. I think this person might say they're only friends with someone. And they're not. It's more than that. Oh, we're only friends... Oh, well, he's only a friend or she's only a friend. You know, you're not silly, mate. they got connections based on friendships that uh, don't develop into romances because this person's a bit of a player, I'm feeling, and they lie to people about who they're with just to get entangled. They might actually go around having um, like things with friends. They might all do it together. This person's very um, sexual and they are lying. So they could be lying about this friendship they're in. They probably just want to come and annoy you because you are relaxed and you are moving forward and they can't get to you. All right, let's see what else we've got from the angels. Angel, whoa, that one had a fly out, didn't it? They could have someone pregnant. Right, so don't have to be pregnancy. It could be they want to start something new with you, like as in a pregnancy. But you could be pregnant or they could have got someone pregnant. That might be why they want to move off, because they want to do a runner. So they might have got someone else pregnant. You might already know this. I'm getting a pain in my right ear for some reason, like earache. So they might know that you're impregnated with ideas, or they might want to get you pregnant if you're of that age, so you can be barefoot and pregnant and chained to the kitchen sink, I feel. They might have kids everywhere, like so they know they, the door is always open, but there could be a pregnancy with a friend who they tell you is a friend who they've been that with. This person could lie about this because they just want to get together with you. But remember, they're a narcissist. They might pretend that they're breaking up with this person, but they might still see this person. This person could be an air sign. I'm going over it. Or they could be a water sign, or you could be. I wouldn't accept this apology because that's just a foot in the door for this person to get into your secret space, what you're hiding away. Because this toxic person who's a narcissist wants to come in and just see what you're doing. What are you building? And they might try and use it like as just to get passionate with you. That might be all they want. They don't like the fact that you're relaxing. They don't like the fact that you're shining brighter than them. And people can see you. People can see you're attractive. You're attracting the right person. So be careful this person doesn't come in and try and ruin it. They know you're the gift because you're the gift that keeps on giving. There is closure. You put closure on this. This person doesn't like closure. They don't like the word no. Be careful because you've got a lot of abundance coming in and you've been very patient for this and you've waited a long time for your abundance. Right, let me get... Ooh, where shall I go? Let's do one of these for a minute and then I'll wrap it up, guys. I knew they'd creep in. Can't get rid of these. They're like blimmin' frush and irritating C-U-N-T. Sorry, but it's true. My nan used to say that. She's like a frush cow. And irritating... <laughs> Sorry, I know that word's horrible. I don't say it anymore. I used to. It used to be my favourite word. Right, study. Oh, someone could be studying you. They could be studying you. Right, let love show you how to learn from each other. Yeah, this person wants to learn from you. They want to study off you. They know you've got gifts. And this person is a very little tree and you are blooming. And this person feels very small. So this person might like to study you, wants to see what you're doing. They want to study how you're like you are. How did you get your abundance? How did you get your gifts? How did you become the star? This person might have been patiently studying you. For a few months or years, I'm feeling, as well. They could have been patiently studying you over years. Over time, I was going to say, but it came out years then. Yeah, this person might have been studying you. Yeah, this person's very intense. They might annoy you when they're so intense. They might say it's a true soul connection. You get a lot of highs and lows with this person. They're very intense, this person. They are. Look at my face. Look at my face. 
That's the energy I get. I'm sorry. This person's very intense. I think they're feeling very intense when they're studying you, mate. They probably can't see through your window. You might have your windows boarded up like me. They might not like it. Feeling very intense because they know you've closed this out with this person. This person wants your gifts. They do. They want to study you. They want to know, like, what you're doing, where you're going. How do you do this? How do you do that? Right, let's see what else we've got, angels. Blaring idiots, isn't they? Whoa. Right, synchronicities. Now, you might be seeing synchronicities about this person. Yeah, this person wants marriage. This person might be in a marriage or union already. Yeah, don't trust this person. You need to trust yourself. I don't feel you thrive with this person. I don't. You might have been in a marriage with this person. Might have been um, a Sagittarius, I'm feeling as well. Or you might be a fire sign. You could have had a, a, a union with this person. It could have been a divine union. It probably was supposed to be a divine marriage. Yeah, it was. It was a union. Right, this person, when you was in a union with them, I think you did at one point trust them. But you need to trust yourself to thrive because I don't feel like the energy on this as trust. I feel this person you cannot trust because they're in a lot of unions or they're in a lot of marriages, yeah? And they're very intense, like very um, needy. Like they very smothering, I feel, this person. I do. I think this person studies people because they're a narcissist. They study people over time, take their time. And then they, like, try and become you because they want to be what you are. They want your gifts, yeah? They want to be attractive like you. They want to be the star that you are. That's why they spy on you. And then they're passionate with people, but they're really toxic, this person could be hiding away at the minute, thinking about making you an apology. Air sign, water sign. Yeah, they're narcissists. Be careful. They're a blimmin' great liar. I know I go over it, guys, but I feel this person you cannot trust. They might still be in a union. I feel this person's still in a marriage with someone. And they're very intense. They might find the person who they're with very intense. So they're studying you to come near you, taking their time. You might have waited for this person a long time. You're definitely seeing synchronicities about this. You are. You might be seeing numbers or just things that you're looking at, sayings and that. Yeah, you are. You're seeing synchronicities about this, this person studying you. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, no, they crept in the energy, didn't they? Don't worry about it. Like I said, it's only what they're feeling and thinking at the moment. But, yeah, this person wants to try and have a commitment with you. Yeah, they're going to say they're your true love. Yeah, they're going to expect... They're going to um, turn up when you least expect it or try to. I'm feeling Sagittarius in there. I feel this person doesn't um, has very dark commitments... I don't think this person's very good at building successful relationships. So, that, like I said, they like to go in and out with people. They like the newness. They try and make you trust them to believe that they are your true love when they get together with people. But they're a liar and a narcissist. A narcissist. A narcissist. This person's very entitled. They are. They're very entitled, this person. They feel like they're entitled to people. Oh. Right, guys, I love you. If you like the video, like it. If you haven't subscribed, why not? And I will be back soon, okay? And thank you so much for coming. And thanks for all your um, messages, all your gifts, all your donations, and all your best wishes to my little poochies. And I love you loads. Be safe. Use your head. You're not stupid. You know what it is. It's just split up with somebody and it wants to come together with you. And I say it because that's what narcissists are. They're just an it. Okay. I love you guys. Mwah. Namaste. Bolt that door. <laughs>